get ready for the whole damn show. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And it is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan. Weighing in at 235 pounds. A man who lives his life way up high. A man who's held multiple world titles, been the face of ECW. RVD is a man who sets the bar very high. Guys, there is only one Rob Van. One of the biggest hearts in the history of WWE, John Cena. And his opponent from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John. Cena has truly seen and done everything there is to do in WWE, and yet he's still going. This is his home. As long as the WWE Universe keeps making noise for Cena, keeps showing up for him, he'll keep performing and showing up for them. Just one of the many reasons he became the greatest of all time. Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. Extreme rules. Remember, this is an ODQ match with no countouts. You do have to pin or submit your opponent to the ring, but other than that, just about anything goes. Guys, I'm pretty sure we're about going for a pin for the championship. LOH's shoulder ahead of the count. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. And well-timed maneuver there. Damn. Spin kick. Drop kick. Beautiful. Whoa. Cross body. And Cena starting to falter here. Look at that zen-like focus from RVD. He's rolling on Cena. Slam! What power! What dominance! I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in the elite physical condition to pull off something like that. And he goes into the ring. No stick impact. This match grinded him down a little. And that is Van Dam's intensity starting to ratchet up. I think the key to coming out on top in an Extreme Rules match has to be fighting without limits. This is no time for fair play or holding back. You have to use the circumstances at play to your advantage and without mercy. I think you're right, Corey. This is a time when playing nice really doesn't benefit y'all. We'll see why they call him Big Matt John. And the greatest of all time, John Cena, the 16-time world champion. Shoulders up before a count of one. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Buster. What a spin kick.
Both men now on the apron. This is a scary situation. The hardest part of the ring in a DDT. There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. What a knockout punch. Oh, oh man. Muscles up their opponent. Oh. Emerald Flosion. Big clothesline. Steps right into them. He is just reeling from that offense. You ask for extreme, you get extreme. Though this looks like a little more than was bargained for. Big forearm. Boom! Michinoku driver. Boom! Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Can't prepare your face for that. Drop kick! Boom! Ooh, man! This is just ridiculous. Look at the power. This is downright superhuman. Deadlift gut wrench suplex. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. He's taking this to the floor now. Uh -oh, oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, Implant Buster! Double chicken wing, Tiger Suplex! Oh, what a knee! And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. John Cena is in quite a bind. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. If anyone can make a big comeback, you know it's John Cena. Whoa, that was a stiff chair shot to the dome. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Boom. So many dangerous attacks, one after the other, making it difficult to regain any composure. Cena dodges out of that. And RVD is taking control. RVD is holding nothing back. Oh, no. Oh, God. Better check your teeth after that. I don't know what they're looking for here. And as a couple of Hall of Famers once said, it's time to get the tables. He's setting his table up, and guys, someone's a... Oh, my God. The table's on fire. This is insane. You can't do this. Climbs back inside. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Had that one scouted. And Cena finds himself on the receiving end. Oh, no. Stun gun. Now a pin for the championship. There's a shoulder up almost immediately. This deep into the match, and he's able to kick it out before a run count? It's stunning. Gets him up on that ladder now. I cannot imagine what he's got on the top. Saw that one coming. Uh-oh. He turns it around. Ooh, and Van Damme turns the tables. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Ooh.
being carried around with ease. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, man, play on the mark. So Good night. Rolling thunder. Cena finding out that RVD is truly one of a kind. And this might not have a pleasant ending. got broken in half with that one. Broken in half, splinters everywhere. He might as well just stay down. Rob Van Dam! What? From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. Thrown back in under the ropes. Makes the cover. Kicks out. Somehow. Some way he is still in this. Oh God! Knee meets face. Cena's getting dominated. Cena's perseverance being tested. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. He's heading back to the ring. Oh boy! Things have escalated here in a hurry. And this one might be headed ringside. Instant classic happening here. RVD and Cena have really pulled something special out for each other. Call it extreme, call it deep water, call it whatever you want. These guys are making magic right now. Back suplex. Just a relentless assault from Van Dam. You can tell. Oh, well, look out. Diving leg drop from the top rope. Ooh. And it's another attack above the shoulders. Got to protect that region or the lights can go out fast. And you can tell these attacks are disorienting him. Sustained attacks up in that area could cause impaired vision. RVD! Five-star front splash! That could end Cena right now. Tonight is definitely a night to celebrate, but let's not lose sight of the fact they have a long road ahead of them now. At least, if they're lucky. Oh, come on, Corey. Don't be such a party pooper. We've got a new champ.